on percentage. It's not starting. Right, go. Today we're working on percent proportions, and with percent proportions, we encounter questions like this: What is 20 percent of 600? And today we are going to figure out how to solve this problem. Uh, every percent proportion problem, you may start with this: two dashes and an equal sign. What's the first piece of information that we can put into this, Stephen? 100 goes at the bottom right. 100, every time we're setting up a problem like this, 100 goes in the bottom right no matter what. It doesn't matter on the problem. Okay, now we have to start looking at the problem and taking information out of the problem. Ava, what information are you taking out of the problem? 20% goes above 100. 20% goes above 100. Any number that has an, a, a percentage sign attached to it in the problem goes above the 100 on the right side, correct. Connor, what other information do we have? Um, 600 goes on the bottom left. 600 goes on the bottom left. What, what's the key word in the sentence that gives us, we know that 600 is bottom left, after Connor? After of. It's after of. Whatever number comes after of, in this case the 600, always bottom left. Is there any more information from the problem that we can put in? Everybody. No. no. Negative, no. Uh. Not true. So this last bit becomes our variable. Next step, do we go right into cross-multiplying cross multiplying class? No. Do we go right into cross-multiplying? No. 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 And everybody, what do we want to do first? Simplify. One more time, we want to simplify, right? Simplify. simplify. 20 over 100, right away I see the 20 over 100, that these zeros can cancel, and then we have 2 over 10, and then 2 goes into 10 five times, so it becomes 1 over 5. Right? Does everybody agree? Yes. 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 So now we have yeah. x over 600 yeah. equals, okay, a little bit a little bit less help. x over 600 equals 1 over 5. Mm -hmm. Now we do our cross multiplication. 600 times 1 is 600. x times 5 equals 5x. This is now we have to divide by this coefficient or multiply by the reciprocal. We divide each side by 5. You're x equals what, everybody? 120! 120. They can't see the answer. This has been another, x equals 120, should I put it here? Yeah. x equals 120, uh, this has been another Friends Central production. Actually, you always have to say it is the